name is Georgie Barrett. I'm a tech journalist and I present Channel 5's The Gadget Show, which is brilliant fun. Not only do I get to go on nights out with Craig Charles, I also get to travel around the world testing out the latest in consumer trends. So I've been to Boston to visit the humanoid robot that they're going to send to Mars called Valkyrie. I've got a VR world record, which involved me being in virtual reality for over 25 and a half hours. Luckily, I didn't get sick or otherwise. That would have been a very different story. I am a tech geek. I think it came from growing up in a household with two brothers, one of which always forced me to read out the Zelda instructions to his manual to help him get to the next level. I was never allowed to play on the game. There's only 17% of women that make up the tech industry. Now, this is horrendously low, and considering they are making the technology that is going to power tomorrow's world, it's really important that we readdress this balance. And I think this has to be done through a number of ways. Firstly, we've really got to address the pipeline of girls going and studying STEM subjects because ultimately if they're not studying at A-level then they're never going to make it further into the tech industry and at the moment the percentage of girls doing that is under 5% so that really needs to be addressed. Secondly we've got to create systems and make sure that there are job adverts that are appealing to women because if it's an industry that's incredibly male dominated um, it's really easy by default to have stuff out there that actually is only really appealing to a male audience so it's really about looking at how that company is portraying their culture and attracting the right talent and how they go through the interview processes and then finally it's making sure that women hang around in the industry and you know that is incorporating things like flexible working hours and making sure that if they go off and have a baby that they're welcome back in again and there are systems in place that encourage that and also it's about making sure that there's the right Right support system and network within the company because if you are the, almost the first female working there in that role then you know that's quite daunting so it's about putting systems in place that just make the whole process a lot easier for women. Often in my work as a journalist I'm exploring how technology is shaping us both culturally and socially. Gen Z are incredibly exciting as a generation because they are able to learn and adapt to do pretty much anything. And this is because they are complete digital natives. And the one powerful thing about the internet is that you can basically learn to do anything. It's very much a sort of a mechanism that allows you to, to teach yourself different skills and it also really teaches people how to create this online brand how to think about themselves in terms of what image are they portraying on online and how are people interacting with it and how do we create that authentic voice the thing that I'm really excited about when I look towards the future of the tech world is how personal assistants are going to play a bigger role and how they're going to be using AI and natural language processing to allow us to converse with them almost like a normal human being. Now, we all have our Alexas or Google Homes, but recently at Google's conference, they announced Google Duplex, which is this incredible AI assistant that has an intonation that really does sound like a human being. They do the ers and the ums and they understand the context of the previous question that's happened before. Now, when this, this is still sort of in development, but when this truly comes out and it, and it is there, we are going to be able to use these AI assistants to really book things for us and, and use them like we would use a concierge service. So I think that is going to be really exciting when that happens. And also the implications of that, a bit like us getting used to speaking to our gadgets around the home, is that we'll start to talk a lot more to our gadgets. So we will be, you know, dictating stuff to computers and they'll be bringing up auditory dashboards. Things will happen a lot more instantly because you're not sort of glued to looking at this tiny screen to be able to communicate with your technology. So I've just finished filming this series of The Gadget Show, but we are back again for another three series. Um, so um, as of September time, I will be heading off and starting film with them again. I do know that we have a trip booked to China, which is incredible because I've never been to China before and they've got some really interesting tech startups going on over there. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then it's just more of the same, more writing articles. I've got a new podcast series out um, and I'm working on a number of different shows. So yeah, lots and lots of exciting things to come.